So you mentioned the start line at Leadville, and this year we obviously had some, some packed field up front in the 100 run. Shoulder to shoulder there with two-time champ Ian Sharman, and then we had Nick Biataria back, and Max King was out there. Um, kind of started us off through the beginning of the race. It looked like the pace went out super fast in the run this year. And just walk us through from there, kind of how the day developed. My race plan going in was that I, you know, I was going to run with the lead pack for the first 40, which is normally, you know, Ian is a master at his, his pacing and his tactics, so um, I knew that that was a really safe bet. You know, we got too close to the Twin Lakes, the race of hope, and, and Ian decided he wanted to move, and I was quite happy just to kind of back off and take it easy. Going over hope, um, I thought I did a good job. And, uh, you know, it wasn't until going down the other side that I, I kind of started feeling that, you know, I was having a little bit of an issue with my you know, legs. So, yeah, I turned around, I grabbed a pacemaker, and we started getting back over hope. Um, and then that's when uh, the wheels just came off and it went sideways. I got to the top, and, and I actually lay down at the aid station, and I was kind of like thinking, I don't know if I can do this. And then I kind of like, you know, thought about the basis of the race, you know, commit to it and get it done. And I figured that, you know, like, I was going to do this no matter what. And as hard as the decision it was, I, I just wasn't in the job. And then I actually ran a really good league from uh, um, Twin Lakes through to uh, the next aid station. Um, as quick, and actually I think maybe even a little quicker than Ian did. Um, but I may have pushed it a bit hard because then the wheels came back off. And uh, <laughs> I ended up walking the rest of the way. It was worth it. Yeah. You know, I, I was happy I did it. You know, I became a lead man. It was a great summer. It was a great race yesterday. Wesley Sandoval needed to have a really, really good day to be able to pass you and get across to Macy's record. And he actually did. He, he bested his Tro 100 run time by three hours. Um, so, amazing. smoking, you know, just had the perfect day. And this is his backyard. You know, he's a local kid. He went to this high school. I think it's kind of fitting that one of those guys, you know, they live in Leadville, they've got the record. You know, they, they train on these hills. And, you know, it's, it's, it makes it more special. You know, like, I would have loved to have got it, don't get me wrong. But if I couldn't get it, you know, a guy that lives here, you know, he could get it too. Well, Mike, thank you for sharing your enthusiasm with us all season. It's been great having you. And maybe, maybe next year, we'll see. We'll talk about it, but. No. No? Well, uh, I don't know. See, we, here we go. We'll see. You never know, right? Yeah, I'm going to take some time off. I want to learn to walk again. Um, <laughs> You know, we'll see how it goes. Okay. But uh, as of now, I, I think I might be retired. All right. We'll see. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Cheers.